Oh, so today I've got a recovery workout that's scheduled. And so that means it's, you know, it's going to be a little less intense than, you know, one of the um, speed workouts, things like that. So as the name suggests, I'm going to go out for 30 minutes at pretty much an easy workout effort. Now I'm doing it on my bike. Uh, but I still want to keep my heart rate up around that 125, maybe 130 range, somewhere in that ballpark. I don't want it to be too low because I can run the risk of just gliding along and taking it maybe a little bit too easy, uh, even on a recovery workout. So I want to make sure that I'm keeping my legs turning over. And one of the ways that I, I do that is I stay up out of the saddle pretty much the entire time. Um, but I'm not necessarily trying to, you know, um, go fast. I'm just trying to stay up, keep my legs extended. That feels really good on my hip flexor and on my abductor, my groin area, because those are the two areas I've been working on, you know, trying to um, get that pain to subside. And it's working. It's working. So I'm really glad about that. Um, so all in all, I'm going to go out for 30 minutes, and, you know, on my bike with 10 minutes to cool down. So basically it's 40 minutes is what it calls for. I will likely just do my normal loop, which takes me about an hour. Another absolutely gorgeous day today. A uh, bit of a breeze, so that might make it a little bit more challenging at times on my bicycle. Um, or even when I'm running, you know, that breeze, if you're running into the wind, you know what I mean. It, it can add, uh, you know, um, an element of difficulty to your workout for sure. Oh, so, hey, you guys probably seen this. Um, I talked about this uh, in yesterday's video, maybe the last couple of videos, uh, actually. But it's the uh, Hoka Gaviota 5, so I'm pretty excited to put these on my feet. It'll be a little bit yet before I can do that. I'm going to try to get these, this box open here. Oh, here we go. I wasn't sure which side it opened up on. Um, but Hoka's made some changes, and I'm excited to see how those changes have impacted the shoe. Because uh, on my first pair of Gaviotas, and this is no joke, I ran over a thousand miles in those shoes. And I'll, I'll find those because I'm still wearing those shoes. I wear those to do my yard work, things like that, because they're super comfortable. And oftentimes you'll find me in a highly stable shoe, if not a stability shoe like the Gaviota, when I'm out running errands. Because I do over pronate, have flat feet, um, that's really noticeable when I'm walking. Because when I'm walking, I'm walking heel to toe. When I'm running, I'm more on my mid to forefoot. So oftentimes if I'm not running, I'm in some type of a stable shoe. And lots of times it'll say Hoka on the side of it because they have a really stable platform. They're always wide shoes. You can see just how wide they are. Uh, but one of the biggest changes that Hoka made is they went from their patented J frame. And I'm not going to be able to show it to you very well here. but. Uh, basically, they have a support. Maybe I can do this like this. I don't know. Hopefully. But basically, they would have support in, in the shape of a J to help with that pronation issue. Well, here they went through to an H shape. So now your foot kind of sinks down a little bit more into the foam, providing stability on both sides. And that foam, uh, there's more of it. And it should be a little softer uh, cushioning underfoot, which is welcome because stability issues are not max cushion shoes you know they they say they're max cushion and this is considered to be a max cushion for a stability shoe but compared to something like the more v4 for example which is super squishy um you know these are not that but in terms of the stability line of shoes i would say that these feel pretty comfortable to, to run in so or to walk in and i think a lot of people like myself do wear these to walk maybe more to, to walk in than than running I don't know. I'd be interested to, to know if you have the Gaviota, if you overpronate, have you used any of the Gaviota shoes, what your thoughts are. So, all right, so that review is coming up pretty soon. But for today, I got lots to do today. This is the only workout that's scheduled, so that's a good thing because, you know, when I get back, I'm going to work on this video for you guys. Uh, but I have a lot of other errands to run, uh, keep us busy, you know, running errands to the grocery store, that kind of thing. Um, so I am just going to get into this one and we'll talk more as I make my way through this recovery workout. Oh. So I think I'm pretty much ready to go today. As I said earlier, it is absolutely gorgeous today. I can't wait to get out here and get my ride in. Just enjoy being outdoors. You can hear the birds chirping. 
I've got a pine tree that sits right next to me in our yard. It's one that we like to decorate for Christmas. So it's perfect. It's like a giant Christmas tree. Uh, it's hard to think about that this time of year, but uh, the birds really enjoy making their nests in there. And that's one of Bella's favorite places to hang out is underneath that pine tree. She doesn't chase the birds. She just likes to be there in the shade. So, all right, how about that? It has nothing to do with running, just life in general. But I'm gonna go ahead and get into this workout. Oh, goodness. So one of my favorite things about this time of year is all of the fresh produce that we can get because we are right in the heart of when farmers and people are out picking their fruits and vegetables, putting them in roadside stands. And I just saw a sign for uh, fresh sweet corn. Seems a little early uh, for sweet corn, but you know, I bet it's uh, right out of the person's garden or the farmer's field. So uh, I might have to check into that, see where that's located because I do love sweet corn. Uh, oh, and strawberries, oh my gosh. Michigan strawberries are awesome. They have so much flavor, they're huge. You know, and we have a very short growing season compared to you know many other parts of the country or the world uh, for that matter that have warm weather year round, but here in Michigan, we really only have, you know, a growing season for, well, I don't know, farmers will plant in April, and depending on what they're planting, they're harvesting, you know, now through end of October-ish, sometimes into November, depending, like I said, what it is, that they're growing. All right, I'm gonna get back into this one. When I sit down, my heart rate drops. It's down to about you know, 119. And I'm trying to keep it at around 125. So I'm gonna have to get back up out of the pedals, get out of the saddle. Plus it feels good to stretch my legs as I make a Yui here. All right, here we go. So I absolutely love living in a small town. People are so friendly and supportive. I don't know if I've mentioned this in previous videos or not, but um, when I ran Boston, uh, I made the front page news of one of the local newspapers. You're not gonna find that in a big city. I'm not an elite athlete. I'm just somebody who loves to run and document my journey, share it with all of you here on YouTube. And you guys can't see this off to my side, but. I've got three deer that just ran next to me. So talk about living in a small town. You know, the deer find it comfortable here too. And I, I live in a small subdivision. My house is in a small subdivision. It's not uncommon for me to have deer out in my backyard because there's just enough woods around that they can make their way into my backyard. They love to eat on my pink hydrangea bushes. I don't love it. <laughs> the one year they shave them down on the one side so it looked pretty awful but yeah what are you gonna do I, I do enjoy watching the deer in my yard all right I'm gonna get back to it Oh, so another recovery workout successfully completed. We're one day closer to marathon day. And I'm feeling pretty good. You know, actually I'm feeling you know, surprisingly uh, chipper, I guess. 
I am excited to uh, lace up my shoes, but in the meantime, you know, I feel like I'm, you know, still being able to maintain at least a degree of fitness. So it won't be like I'm starting from scratch when I do lace up those shoes again. All right, I am home. Yeah. So overall, I think that went uh, pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. Couldn't ask for a better day. That's for sure. You can still hear the birds are chirping. Absolutely love that. Got to see a few deer, as I pointed out earlier. That's always cool out on my bike rides. There was actually uh, two does and a buck. I didn't see any fawns. Oftentimes, this time of year, especially, I'll see the does with their fawns. It's always fun to see the little ones in their spots. Sorry, just grabbing the mail here. Um, so, hey, thanks to you guys for making it to the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to doing the uh, review on the New Balance gear that I got for the New York City Marathon that arrived yesterday. And of course, as I pointed out a few times already today, I got the Gaviota 5, so I'm really excited to put those on my feet and tell you how it goes. All right, again, thanks for making it to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. As always, run tall, run strong, be kind to of one another. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.